Hold up. This has got to be one of the realest videos on the internet right now. Uh, let me tell y'all something when it comes to a man, a hu my husband. I can't speak for nobody else. And I'm sick of people asking this question. Who you feed first? A man or the kids? The kids come first, the man come first, whoever come first in your house. Let me tell you something. We all don't have the same lifestyle, okay? Some of y'all may get food stamps. Some of y'all working and providing food for your household. Yes, ladies. Some of y'all ladies working or either get food stamps and you're providing the food for your household. And this man just coming over eating. I don't blame you feed your kids first if that's the case. No. But when you got a provider and a protector and every piece of food come through that door, come from his blood and sweat. Yeah, you going to feed him first. Yes. Uh-huh, because guess what? When my kid, my kids grown up, but when they was coming up, they done ate at school all day. Then when they busting through the door before they getting the dough good, they snacking, snacking, eating. My husband on work from dust to dawn, and baby, when he come through this door falling out, yeah, we all getting on the kids. Y'all pulling boots off while I'm in here fixing the plate. And yeah, we finna get daddy together because daddy makes sure we good. So if you ain't had that, you would never understand the concept if you ain't had that, okay? So don't come for me. I'm just letting you know. Until you have it, then you won't understand it. So until then, you keep feeding your kids first. And when you get that, then you make sure that black king get the big piece of chicken, okay? Feed him first and make sure he get the big piece of chicken because he deserve it. Okay, y'all have a good day. Truth be told, shorty right here kept it all the way G. And there was a lot of truth to those words right there. See, this has been a cultural debate that has had the internet in a chokehold lately. But shorty right here just ended this whole argument with this answer. Now, like she said, to the households that don't have a strong man present, to the single parents who is doing it on their own, in cases where you may have a useless, freeloading, lazy, good-for-nothing man living in your house where you pay the bills, who's not even trying to help out or contribute, then of course, you got to put your kids first, by all means. But when you got a real provider who puts his blood, sweat, tears, body, and health on the line, working 12-hour shifts and overtime to provide a life for his family, them kids better wait until he get his plate first. See, that man is tired. That man is mentally exhausted. That man done went to war with the world to make sure y'all have a meal to put on the table. So when he comes in the door, that strong king should be made a priority in his household. Not out of greed, not out of pride, but out of respect and appreciation. See, it's sad that this is even up for debate, but this sister is right. See, one of the things that we have taken for granted today is honor. And unfortunately, a lot of us wasn't taught that a provider should always be the priority because he wakes up every day through pain and suffering to make his family his priority. And if we can't understand as a society the importance of honoring those who honor us, then we're truly lost as a generation. But this confusion today is only a byproduct of a larger issue. Because not only is there a staggering amount of people out there who either can't provide or don't provide, that finding a real man and a real woman these days are like finding an endangered species. And the truth of the matter is, many households today are functioning without a teamwork partnership. And according to researchers at CNN, the data shows that we're now at a 30 year low for men and women cohabitating and living together. And not only that, researchers have also discovered that unfortunately, romantic, intimate partnerships and committed relationships are also decreasing exponentially. So basically, the demographics are in such a downward spiral that we simply don't have the partnerships, loyalty, commitment or love within our households like we used to. So if you never had a real provider, you may not understand why the provider gets a plate first. But as this sister said, for the strong men, the real kings of the castle who are out there right now doing everything they can to make sure there's a roof over your head, breaking his back by the sweat of his brow to make sure that there's food on the table and he never lets y'all go without. Honor that king and make sure that he not only gets a plate first, but like sis said, make sure that brother gets the big piece. And listen, it's my birthday this week, so you best believe I'ma get the big piece. And shout out to both the single parents holding it down and the providers out there. May you be honored in your households and may your loved ones who you sacrifice for never treat you like a peasant, but as a true king. Straight up. Yeah. Uh.